Okay, so items such as crates, benches, headlights, barrels, generators, and all sorts of other small scenery items respawn differently than explosives such as fusion coils and propane tanks. Let me give you a demonstration. Items like crates and other objects that I mentioned earlier do not respawn instantly whether you set them that way or not. The thing they do do is when you're building a map and they randomly disappear, if you have the item set to instant respawn, it will immediately reappear in its exact location whether it disappears or not. This can help you make your map that much more organized without walls falling apart. Other than that, making objects or scenery other than explosives instantly respawn is more or less pointless. Just like wow. Rebel Guitarist here. There'll just be another bum on the road one day. Come on, you know it's true. With vehicles, there is a much bigger problem. When you set a vehicle to instantly respawn, you can blow it up, but it won't actually respawn until the corpse of the vehicle disappears. In other words, the flaming remains of the once working vehicle has to disappear for the actual working vehicle to respawn. Get off of my head! Thank you. And so, for that, we'll move to respawn points. Okay, so there are many different um, strategies for making your spawns flawless. Um, first, everyone is familiar with the um, classic spawn point. Uh, it's used basically to obviously just make people respawn. And um, it's the most common kind of spawn point you'll find. But it usually won't do exactly what you think it does. On one second. Uh, let's see here. Ah! Okay, the next spawn we'll go over is the starting point. As you can see, it's much shinier than a spawn point, usually. And what it is, usually when you start a game, say in Foundry, um, people will spawn outside the map because all you use is spawn points. But by changing the game type in the menu when you're in Forge mode, you can access the spawning point, which sets it that you spawn at the start point, which is this, no matter where other spawn points are in the game. This is really helpful to prevent people from spawning outside the map. While respawn areas, which is that big shiny thing that's right in front of the camera, um, do a much different endeavor. You can actually select the small post in the center of the spawn area and change many different things, including the shape of the box, or cylinder, um, the size of it, and many other things. And what this basically does is every single spawn point that is in the radius of the spawn area is considered more important than other spawns on the map. So if I set this to spawn order 1, then the spawns that are all inside of this spawn area will be considered the most, the highest priority. Everyone's supposed to spawn here first. If there's no more room in this spawn area, then people will start spawning in other places. And that is a basic rundown of spawn points. We'll give a little more details in part two. So if you're confused, don't worry, or part three. Part 3 will be coming out soon. So, um, that, let's continue to our closing, shall we? Yes, we should. Okay, thank you for watching Part 2. Um, see Part 3 coming soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making, um, uh,
Oh. Okay, so my name's Joker. My name is Killa. Hope you enjoyed the story. Yeah, boy. <laughs> guys ruined my shot. Yeah, like I said, C Part 3 coming soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.